hello guys Richie David here and I'm in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to list your business on Google places so but first let me just show you what I mean by listing your business on Google places let's um, type in let's say enter sorry entertainment okay entertainment through literary Lagos type in there and then you can see uh, you know let's click in here let's see what it gives us uh -huh. as you can see uh, this is um, someone's business listed here on Google places this entertainment 137 of Greenland Drive through the Lagos contact person mobile number website the website here and right here there is the map is the exact location of where the business has been see, situated rather you know this is it you can see here Ogulana Drive this is it or is it again Ogulana Drive this is that address the map but if you want to get the satellite location you just click on here and it gives you the exact spot where it is located so I'm gonna take it back to, to map so this is the, 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 the business details of the person the owner of, of, of Mr. Sondiari so you know these details yeah this is what I mean by listing you know a business on Google places free of charge so for you to list your your business to something like this what you gotta do is um let's close this you log into to Google you know when you open Google the Google official page you just type in here Google Places and then you can see here Google Places you click on it it takes you to this to the site here this page you click on get started now and it's loading you see for you to be able to use this you have to have a Google account so in my own case I have a Google account so I just need to sign in with my Google account um, demo videos for you so type in my password here then I click enter it redirects me to the to the next page what I all I have to do is you know put in my country here my country is Nigeria I locate Nigeria I click on it a phone number here and I'm for this tutorial I'm not going to be using a, 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 a real phone number. I'm going to be using a fake number it says here before you create a business listing think about which Google account you are using in the future you may want to share this account with other people at your business enter your business's main phone number to see if Google Maps already has some information about that business about your business rather You'll then be able to edit any existing information and add new details including photos and videos and you know we've not already listed our you know registered for it already so we don't expect you know our, our listing to be on google places but it's a process you have to go through you just need to type in there type it there rather so for this tutorial i'm going to just put in a fake number let me say zero eight zero two 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 six 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 Two, four. Okay, click on find business information. It says you know I just found for a business using this number. Add your information below. So countries Nigeria, you just gotta put in your information below. And for this, let me see. Let me just look for a name. Let me just okay. Let me say David Richie Resources. The address, let's see. Um, one zero four. Um, let's see. Let's say thirteen. Got two more percent. So yes, sir. Larry. Um, postal code. Yeah. Uh, postal code. Yeah. Leave that. If you have a postal code, you can put it here. You know, state. Put in the state. I'm. Um, I'm in Lagos, so I put in Lagos here. 
is my phone number my email address I'll put it back here demo videos for you gmail.com it's a website if you have a website you just put it here if you don't have a website just click here I don't have a website so we just have to scroll down here you know if you have a description for your business let's say you just put it here description you put it there okay let's just say um and say consulting consulting online business login you know you can put as many words as you can in a category here let's see um, business okay here yeah, business development service business management consult consultant rather business school marketing consultants print shop so let's just say business management consultant no if you have another category you could just click in you click on this link here and add it and then it says here does your business provide services such as delivery or home repair to locations in a certain area you know if your answer is no you just leave it here if it's yes you click here no let me just leave it on default there and hours of operations you scroll down hours of operations it says make sure your customers know when you open if you prefer not to specify operating hours you just leave it here but if you prefer to specify you can just click on here and then let me just scroll down again and then you it just simply you know put in your working hours here you know if you open by by you know let's say by 8 8 a.m. to maybe 5 p.m. you leave it here you know whatever time it is it is it, that's convenient for you but I just fixing here but if you prefer not to specify you could just you know take it here then it says are your hours split during a single day such as 9 to 11 a.m. and 7 to 10 p.m. you know and it says yeah, I'd like to enter two sets of hours for a single day if you like to enter you click in here click here rather um, um, okay let's say um, it's not clicking it's not working let's, let's go down let's say payment options here in this case here yeah, you specify how your customers can pay out your business if you accept cash you click on cash you accept check you know whatever means of payment you accept you just gotta check on it then photos here photos you have to add in a photo of you of your business you know your product whatever the case may be just click here and then you look at the look at the picture on your desktop your computer system brother and then you add it you add it here if you have any videos you know you just click on add videos you know click on it no sorry you, you just specify the url the url rather of the of the video you put in here and then you add video if you don't have you can still leave it blank and uh, if you have uh, any additional details to include you just click here and then include it in there you know and um we're done i just have to so you can see here one more time let me show you can see this is specified the, the the location of my of the address you know it's just showed up there and then visit David Richard resources you know here is the address the phone number it says that this address doesn't have a clear marker or location if you think this is not the exact place you know um, this position is not correct you just all you have to do is all you gotta do is click on this and then it takes you yeah you know you just move this thing you move it drag it to wherever you think is the right location but if it's okay you know you just leave it the way it was in our case here let's just say save changes you know and then and then um, click on submit says here how would you like to validate your listing 
for your protection we need to verify the information you've just given us yeah it says no verification you will not be verifying your store not the display priority might be lesser in google maps for the case you know just oh, we're done for now we're done you just gotta click finish when you click finishes when you click finish rather you know you're done so that's it for 